49 out of 51 contests in the Electoral College use plurality vote and winner-take-all on a statewide basis. The two states that don't do this are Nebraska and Maine. To be clear, Nebraska and Maine use plurality vote and winner-take-all, but on a smaller scale. Each contest, except these two, gives all of its electoral votes to whichever candidate carries the majority or plurality of that state's popular votes. Instead, Nebraska and Maine give their electoral votes partially based off of the votes of the congressional districts. The process works like this. In Maine, if candidate A has a majority or plurality of the votes in District 1, candidate A gets one electoral vote. If candidate B wins a majority or plurality of the votes in District 2, candidate B gets one electoral vote. Then, whichever candidate wins more votes overall gets two electoral votes for carrying the state. In this way, it is possible for one candidate to win all four electoral votes, or for the electoral vote to be split 3-1. A 2-2 split is not possible because a candidate cannot win both congressional districts without winning the entire state. Nebraska uses the same system, except it has three congressional districts. So in Nebraska, the electoral vote can all go to the same candidate, be split 4-1, or be split 3-2. If the margin won by the candidate who won only one congressional district is larger than the margin won by the other candidate in the two other congressional districts combined. The real question is whether or not the Nebraska main system is more or less representative than the system used by the other states and DC. The main difference is that the Nebraska main system is divided by congressional districts and everyone else divides by state. This may seem better because it has smaller divisions, but it is still plagued by the same issues as the other states, plurality vote and winner take all, meaning that winning by a small margin yields the same result as winning by a huge margin. However, the two electoral votes from winning the state's overall vote helps to counteract this and do end up making the electoral votes more democratic and more representative of the will of the people. However, this only works because these two states are small in terms of electoral votes. Let's take a look at an example. In 2008, Barack Obama took a plurality of the vote in Indiana, and as a result, he carried its 11 electoral votes. However, if Indiana had used the Nebraska main system of assigning electoral votes, John McCain would have won six electoral votes and Obama would have won five, even though Obama got more popular votes. This is because John McCain took the majority or plurality in six out of nine of Indiana's congressional districts, and Obama won only three. However, Obama won by large margins in these districts, while McCain won by comparatively small margins. Because Obama won Indiana's popular vote overall, he would have gotten two electoral votes. Neither the system used by the 49 contests, nor the Nebraska main system, represent the will of the people in this way. In the statewide system used by every state except Nebraska and Maine, Obama would take 100% of the electoral vote despite getting less than 50% of the popular vote, and in the Nebraska Maine system, McCain would win more electoral votes than Obama despite winning fewer popular votes than him. Neither system reflects the way that the popular vote really went down.